Hello everyone and welcome back to the series uh, My Three Favorite Licks and again we're on Nature Boy this time though instead uh, we're looking at Borelli's solo of course feel free to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell notification so that every time that I post a new series uh, of my three favorite licks or the original transcription you'll get notified and every little bit of your uh, support helps in terms of subscriptions and likes and follows and all that stuff but let's just dive into it right away Borelli plays uh, on this tune uh, a beautiful beautiful um, introduction which I recommend checking out from the transcription but the one the first sort of idea or lick I want to cover is when the tune actually you know goes from the intro to the intro that is uh, at the tempo of the tune, which introduces basically the tune and gives, I guess, gives Jimmy Rosenberg the the prompt that, you know, get ready to play the melody. <laughs> uh, and the chords are, you know, if you're not used to playing them, they're a bit of a stretch on your left hand, but absolutely gorgeous, uh, gorgeous sounding chords. And this is when, the, again, when the tempo of the tune starts to be, you know, uh, not free time like the intro and here it is okay let's look first at the two chords individually so we have a E minor 9 here beautiful little chord here where you're barring with your index but then with your with your pinky you're going to play this G here on the fourth string and with your second finger you're going to play the D on the second string and then you're barring your index just a beautiful mysterious kind of you know melancholic sound and of course the key of the tune is E minor so this E minor 9 just fits perfect and the second chord is a bit trickier still. It's simply uh, F major 7, but the way it's fingered is I'm going to be barring basically, basically barring with my pinky at the 5th fret and, and the index here, the first finger goes on the F. So I'm skipping the 5th string, no need there, but that's basically your, your chord. And the you know Berelli's then going to play rhythm off of the tune on on this kind of on this kind of where the, this mute happens on two and four, but then the rest is is kind of played. this little bass line going on which prompts uh, Jimmy Rosenberg to start the melody again that's really the rhythm that Borelli holds throughout the tune for the most part so in learning this little this this last part of the intro you kind of get this this little finger style bossa nova kind of uh, rhythm as well so again, E minor 9, F major 7. Those, that's, the, that's the first idea from Brelli. Okay, the second is a phrase or idea or lick, however you want to call it, that is best used off of, again, the key, which is E minor. And again, uh, I really love it when, when Brelli kind of... Uh, uh, sinks into classical music and uses his classical influences to create lines that are really uh, really beautiful like this one which is the following now one little consideration it's really interesting for me to see that Borelli throughout his solo plays not with your traditional 
gypsy sort of downstroke picking but really uses more of a um, electric you know upstroke technique and I suppose you know the choice is uh, I would assume because you know Jimmy Rosenberg is such a strong exponent of that gypsy style that maybe Borelli figured you know I'll just take my solo in a completely different direction both from harmonic choices but also as a sound texture kind of choice so it's really cool that he can you know make the, those transitions and adapt that way and so but here we go with the phrase and so basically yeah E minor is your is your center and again you have contrary motion here so you have one line going down while the other one's coming up and so here you have it so here the first note is B B flat then but you play the B flat and the C sharp and then you're gonna play this A and this E flat bit of a stretch here where you're playing the G and the E. And then you have these little half step approaches to you know to in key and uh, half step behind uh, notes so and that's I guess the rest of the phrase but my favorite part of the phrase, of course, is this, you know. I just love this this little harmonic twist. You know, half step, half, half step. And then the rest of the phrase. And so, we'll let's jump into the last idea here. The last idea is, again, something you can use off of E minor or B7 altered, which again, those are interchangeable. I mean, anytime you have a song in, in E minor, you can break up, you can break up an E minor with a B7, and you can then alter that B7 uh, to create more tension to then resolve. And this phrase, uh, that's the actual phrase. So it's really and there you can really hear it resolve. That first part is really um, a beautiful way to to really basically imp imply that B7 altered, in other words sharp 5, sharp 9. Because those tones are eventually hit on that arpeggio. And let's always remember that on a B7 altered, I can imply or superimpose a C minor, so half step up above, a C minor melodic. Right? You can really hear that. You know, you can hear those those tones belong to that chord. So, again, so you have a bit of a, actually you have a triplet up here on the first part of the scale. So, actually I'll go with my pinky, so. That's the first part. So starting at the seventh fret with second finger. And then you have this kind of Sorry. That's your on the bottom three strings. You really have 
that that sharp five, dominant sharp five sound right there. Then once it hits this F sharp, that's when it's back in back in key, so to speak. So you're going from B7 altered. key center which is E minor so yeah really learn that you know it's really a hybrid between a scale and an arpeggio uh, but it's just you know absorb it and then try it in different tunes and different tempos and different you know scenarios and rhythms it's nice I mean here you have this triplet at first but Also try out different rhythms so you don't have to put that triplet uh, but in this tune of course there is okay everyone so I hope you enjoyed uh, this series of my three favorite licks if you like what you've heard and seen so far subscribe hit the bell so that every time I post uh, a new transcription and a new analysis of three ideas of that transcription you'll be the first to know and uh, you know every every little bit of, uh, of support helps and uh, makes for a brighter day. So thanks again, and we'll see you soon. Peace.